Hey there, Natalie May here for Stencil Girl. Today I'm going to talk you through a quick scrapbook layout using the Fallen Leaf Stencil designed by Jessica Spawn. This is a gorgeous 9x12 stencil and I start with masking off the side on, um, of the stencil and use some Lindy Stamp Gang sprays in Luscious Lime, Hydrangea Blue and Bachelor Button Blue and give the area a really generous spray. I then use a little bit of paper towel just to roll off any excess off the stencil and it actually just speeds up the drying process. So I do that twice. The second time I'm not too fussed about masking it off but I just want to give it a really, really nice coat of colour. Now I'm going to trim that back um, just so that it's off those rough edges and use some double sided tape to adhere it down to my, my flat cardstock. I'm going to stick that straight down onto my background. Um, with that other piece that I, that I sprayed, I wanted to um, cut out all the little leaves so they become embellishments on my page. I didn't get too fussy with cutting them out, I just wanted to show the, the beautiful shapes, leave a little bit of a white border all the way around as well. So um, I cut out half a dozen or so leaves. Um, with my photo, this is a photo of my daughter and I taken in Tasmania um, a couple of years ago, uh, one of my favourite photos, but it needed to be mounted. So I just used a, a piece of scrap cardstock as you can see. Um, that's actually a piece that was cut off from the, uh, from the side of the, the original sprayed piece. Um, mounted that and now I'm using some 13 Arts stickers. Love these stitched edges um, and I'm going to stick those all the way around to give it that fake sewn look. Um, couldn't be bothered getting my sewing machine out which yeah of course would have looked better but I really love these stickers, they work great. So I've mounted my photo straight bang in the middle of the page and now I'm going to slide in some of those leaves that I have cut out from the original stenciled image. I'm just using a little bit of glue. The reason I use glue is so that I've got that ability to, to move it around. And you'll notice that I'm also not sticking it down edge to edge. I'm only putting a small amount of glue in underneath the base, just so that um, the tips of the leaves have still got a bit of dimension. Uh, I fluff around a bit now with these acetate flowers. Um, I bought these uh, in an embellishment kit, I think, from you know somewhere in New Zealand earlier this year or last year. Um, and these and that title kind of sits beautifully. Um, I'm going to use some glossy accents or dimensional magic, something that dried clear to stick that piece of acetate down. Um, decided I didn't like the acetate flowers, so I have gone with a combination of different prima flowers that I've collected over the years just to give it that little bit of a lot bit of a pop. Um, and these colours kind of pick out those beautiful pinks and yellows that are in that title. So I pull out my trusty stapler and um, add a few staple embellishments. This also just secures it all down onto the page as well. And that's it and I'm done. Super quick and easy. I really, really love the simplicity that this this beautiful stencil gives. Um, hope you enjoyed it, hope you had fun and catch you again next time.